As an ACU online instructor, you will oftentimes post a video to communicate with your students in different ways in Canvas. For example, many instructors post video announcements, some prefer to give feedback on assignments in video format, and it's common to have video responses in class discussions. There are several ways to record and post a video in Canvas, and today I'm going to go over some common best practices. First, please note that the time to convert, download, and upload a video is heavily dependent on the device you're using and your internet speed. The tactics I will share with you today will hopefully limit that wait time and stress. You will notice there are several ways to complete one task in Canvas, and sharing videos is one of them. Announcements is the most common place instructors post videos, so this is the view we will look at today. You will notice that there are several tools in the Rich Content Editor toolbar for posting videos, and at ACU Online we do not recommend recording the video from this page. Instead, most find it best to pre-record the video separately and then upload or link it in Canvas. Recording the video can be done using your phone, as you would any video, or on your computer with an app such as QuickTime Player, and Canvas recently rolled out Studio, which is an excellent tool for you to record, organize, and share your videos as an instructor. Let's start with the scenario of recording a video on your phone, as most people have experience doing. Uploading a video to YouTube is very simple, and there are numerous online walkthroughs that can show you how to do this. Once you have a video ready, you can take that link from YouTube and simply paste it in your announcement. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and go back to my announcement and paste it. Now this is just the text, so I do actually want to link this so it's clickable for students. So I want to choose this in the toolbar, link to URL. And then I will paste it once more. And it's giving me the option if I want to disable the, pre or the preview, which you can see here, which actually is kind of nice, so I'm going to leave that. But if you would prefer it to just stay the text, you can choose this option down here. So we'll insert that. And then if I click Save, you'll see that it pops up uh, with the text as well as the little tile for the students to then click on, which will play the video within Canvas. It doesn't take them anywhere new. So that's one option, is to record the video on a device. It could be on your computer, phone, tablet, and then upload it to YouTube and paste the link within the announcement. So that is one option. Another common practice is to record on your computer using an app such as QuickTime Player. This allows you to save the video to your computer and then we can go back and paste it here. So let me walk you through that. I've already recorded a two second video just for uh, today's purpose and I have done file save which has made this come up. So I've named it welcome video. I'm going to save it to my desktop and click save. So now I can go back to my announcement and I can see it's on my desktop right there, my welcome video. So what I wanna do here is choose this in the toolbar that says record upload media, and then go to the tab that says upload media and select the video file. And then I can navigate to where I've saved it. In this case was the desktop. And then I can click the movie uh, to upload here. So once I save this here, it will appear as a tile as well for me to view within Canvas. Now, if I don't want to just leave videos on my desktop, because obviously that is risky, <laughs> if there is a crash or uh, if the space on my computer will obviously be used up very quickly. So another option is to add these videos to uh, your drive, which everyone with an ACU email has. And it has unlimited space and obviously gives you the chance to organize videos within folders. So if I want to uh, drag this into my drive, it will automatically upload it. Now with the drive, uh, you do want to be cautious about sharing because you want to make sure that you're setting up the settings correctly. So when I go to get a shareable link, right here I can see that this is um, uh, restricted, so I want to choose anyone with a My ACU email can open it or simply uh, make it uh, open completely. Anyone with the link can open this. And we also want to make sure that they can only view this video, not comment or edit it. So as long as we have those set up correctly, we can copy that link, be done here, and go back to that announcement and paste 
uh, just as we've done before. Now another way that you can paste is um, to click, simply link the words instead. So let's get rid of all of this. And we can just actually link the welcome video words. So now when I save it, this is to the drive and it is just a link, an external link. So that will open them op a new window. So that will open a new window for the student to view the video. Finally, the last tactic I would like to share with you today is recording in Canvas Studio. There are several tutorials on using Studio within the Canvas guides, which you can find by, again, going to the purple navigation bar and clicking Help to search the Canvas guides. So you'll see that there are several tutorials um, for Canvas for you as an instructor. Uh, you can look through the instructor guides. You can also just search for certain things, like how to uh, do videos. And there is a video specifically on using a Studio, which is very helpful. So you'll find things like that here. So once you're in Studio in Canvas, again, over in the purple navigation bar, you'll click Studio. From here, you'll see some options in the top right to record. And you can either do a screen capture if you are um, preferring to walk your students through something on your screen. You do have the option to include a mini video of you in the corner, as you've probably seen. Uh, or you can just do a webcam capture, which is a, a video of you. So you just choose which one you would like to do. And then once it is saved, it will appear here in your library, which you can click these three lines to get to your library. And um, once you start to accumulate videos here, you'll see them as tiles. And uh, to share them, you'll simply click these three dots to share media. And again, we're going to copy and go back to the announcement and paste here. And we're going to link it. So now when I save, you can see what this will look like. So now it is just a link. And when the student clicks on it, it will open a new tab for them to view that video. Communicating with videos can be a powerful tool to connect with your students. The best ways we have found to do that are, one, recording the video on your phone or tablet and upload it to YouTube to then link to Canvas. Two, record on your computer with an app such as QuickTime Player and upload it in Canvas or share it from the drive if you prefer to save it there. And finally, Canvas Studio, which allows you to record and share videos within Canvas. We hope these best practices empower you to communicate with your students in new ways and create a more meaningful learning and teaching experience.